Let's move like nobody's watching. Till I made, till you made. Only one way to celebrate. Switch off, one option. Let's dance like nobody's watching. I saw you fall. From inside Tropicana Field here in Tampa Bay, the show has an AL East matchup. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. And today on the hill, Zach Eflin. Well, most pitchers today are pretty tall, but this guy's definitely taller than most. He's kind of an imposing figure out there, especially when he's standing on top of the bump. It's like he's looking down on you, so hitters have to be prepared for a couple of things. Ball can get on you a lot quicker because of the extension and release point, and then also tilt through the zone. If you're going to try to hit pitches at the bottom of the zone, it's going to be difficult to get on plane. So look for something up from this guy. You might have a chance to do some damage. Well. 
And that one ripped to left. A Rosarena makes the catch, and there's one gone. Not exactly. Let's take a look at the lineup for the Blue Jays. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is players press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now, and that one fouled off. One out, base is empty. And the right hater deals. That oh. misses the zone. Now one and two. Here's a batter who, for whatever reasons, plays better on the road, and that should help him here today. Ripped to third and caught. They put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives won't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit velo, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Bo Bichette up to the dish. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters nope. in the game. Okay. First pitch, and he just misses. Bichette hitting third in the lineup, and he was a second-round pick back in 2016. Two outs. The shortstop takes a ball. Misses outside, outside that's and that's ball three. Two outs, base is empty. There's a strike. Rips one to right. He's got it. And that is out number three. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. Now it's the Rays' turn. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Here at Tropicana Field, and the right-hander with the good curveball, Chris Bassett. He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Yandy at Diaz at the plate now. That's ball one. The wind and the pitch. That's a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. That is second. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Harold Ramirez at the dish. Really strong hitting performance recently. Hitting better than 350 this month. Right through there for a strike. Just missed. Diaz gets his lead at first with nobody out. Runner on the goal. Sneaks through, base hit. The throw to third. He's in there. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Now it's Randy or Rosarena. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. Gone. Randy or Rosarena, bless one out.
and the Rays take the lead. It's 3-0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. See a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat. You watch it from the on deck surface, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Isaac Paredes now dives, but it kicks off his glove. Not in time. Oh, He's safe. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. That's one of those you classify as just too hot to handle. Hit it on the screws, and it couldn't be fielded cleanly, but you can't really blame the defense in that case. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. Right through there for a strike. Deep left field, Garsho going back. Hits the top of the wall. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Throw comes in, runner stops. Second and third, nobody out. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Put a pretty good swing on that one as he drove it out to deep left. Didn't quite have the right combination of launch angle and exit velocity to get it over the fence, but you're never going to be disappointed with extra bases. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jose Caballero. That one outside, and it's one to know. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. The 1-0. -oh. Just well, off the, off the outside edge. And he deals. And strike right there. To the left side, but it is well foul. Righty delivers. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. So two in scoring position with one out. Curtis Mead next to hit for the Rays. Bounce to the left side. Bichette tosses across the first. Out number two and another run comes in. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. That's it for Chris Bassett, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. New pitcher now for the Jays, Bowden Francis. And now it's Jose Siri. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Right through there for a strike. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Boog, and the one thing about that is 
speed never goes in a slump and defense shouldn't either hitting wise you can struggle you can lose your mechanics but first. oh that got him he had two strikes on him and he hit him first and second two down Renee Pinto next to hit for the Rays and foul ball Two on, two outs. Not one, one. even close there. And that is ball one. And the pitch. Line drive, knocks it down. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Back to the top of the lineup. At the plate now for the Rays is the DH. Yandy Diaz singled and scored his first time. This one in the dirt, and well done to keep it close. And the count one and one. Rosario at third. Siri at second. Pinto on at first with two down. Misses off the plate. And that's ball two. In situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. The two one. Wouldn't chase that time. Swing and a line drive, slicing into right field. And George makes the grab. And that will end the inning. So they do get four runs across, but they end up leaving the bases loaded. We head to the second here at Tropicana Field. It's the Rays four and the Jays nothing. Back now in Tampa Bay, Justin Turner now. Justin Turner. Eflin back to work. That's outside. One and oh. He's already pitching with a four nothing lead, so we should see him be aggressive. Fill up the strike zone. Don't issue free passes. Just missed. And another ball. There's a strike. Turner awaiting a 3-1. On the inside corner for a strike. Full count. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Struck him out looking with the off speed stuff. This guy will throw any pitch at any count. 3 2. He goes off speed, gets the out. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. And that one just missed off the outside edge. They'll see you. This is a guy that grew up. In big league clubhouses, and it's something that you see throughout the game. Sons, whose fathers also played the majors, righty to the plate, and a foul ball. Yeah, and beyond that, all the other men in those clubhouses that sort of take you under their wing as a son or a nephew oh, and out. show you some of the tricks of the trade. It's just invaluable that type of experience. That one missed. 
the Blue Jays down by four here at the top of the second. And a strike on the outside edge. Three balls, two strikes. Left hand batter waits. Bounced up the middle. Caballero slings the oh. first. Two up, two down at the top of the second. So up next for Toronto, Alejandro Kirk. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Really good athlete. And many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch. Rosario brings it in for the third out. Nothing doing for the offense that time. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Rays four and the Jays nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the first baseman, Harold Ramirez. The right-hander back to work. Up and in, ball one. Ball one, no strike. Ramirez started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first. Nope, he held back. The wind to kick the 2 0. And that's in there at the knees. In the air out towards right center. Springer drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that one. One away. Now batting. No left fielder. Now up for Tampa Bay, Randy or Rosarena. He's already homered here in this one. That ball misses one. the zone. Ball one. Counts one and oh. One down, base is empty. Two balls. One strike. Slice down the right side. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. And that's that just down. foul. The line of the pitch. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Everything came now together man. perfectly for him right there. Man. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Throw to first, no, a Rosarena back in standing. Paredes nope. takes one. a ball as he stands in for the second time. And that one missing low. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, he's going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. And here it comes. He swings and fouls one off. A Rosarena stands at first with one out. Go, 
Next offering clips the zone count even at two. That's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike with the situation runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Kicks and deals. That just misses. And, and it's three and two. I don't know how you take that one after the called strike on the corner. Just a little bit off the edge. Got him swinging. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. That one rip, but foul. The 1 1. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. A Rosarena on his way to third. Coming home. He scores, and the lead is up to five. Picks himself up an RBI, double into the gap, and that was a really nice swing to beat the inside pitch. Just beat him to the spot. Kept his hands tight inside that baseball, and that just allowed him to drive it into the alley right there. And stepping in for the Rays, Jose Caballero. And the Whoa, first pitch misses down. for ball one. Just missed. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. One run across in the frame so far. Bottom half of inning number two. Foul ball. Two one now. And downstairs. The right-hander gives nope. up the two-out walk. Now back, second baseman. Now it's the second baseman, Curtis Mead, grounded out to short in his first trip. That one finds the zone. One one. Two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering misses, and the count even one and one. And that's a strike. One ball, two strikes. And the slider just misses. It's a good take. pitch fights it off you'll see another two outs and there's a ball Next offering popped in the air, right field. Springer there makes the catch. Rays get an RBI double, and the lead is now 5 0. Back after this on the show. Top half of the third inning. The now, Dalton Varsho. Number 25, Dalton Varsho. 
Here comes a pitch. Hey. And that's through there for a strike. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. And down on strikes. One away. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time. You know, once you get it going, it can be so tough to stop the momentum with that barrel. Good pitch, had him fooled. Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Off the mark there. And that's ball one. One down, base is empty. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. The Rays leading by five. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that's in the dirt. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Catcher has it, fires the first. Gets the out, two down after the strikeout. Borgie well, just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. And yeah, that one. skips in the dirt. Ball one, no strike. Two down, nobody on. That hey. one's in there. And the count even at one. The pitch. And one. another ball. Wouldn't ball chase three. that time. Two outs. And it's ball, ball. four. He missed three down three. low. Boo, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at-bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Springer in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Kiermaier, the runner at first with two gone. Misses. Now one and two. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Stays alive. Here's a one-two. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Blue Jays held in check. It's 5-0. It Bottom half of the third, and they bring in a new pitcher, Trevor Richards. He last pitched four days ago, so he should feel pretty fresh. Leading off, Jose Siri. Hit by a pitch his first time up. And he deals. And that one lifted in the air, center field. 
He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. Now batting. The catcher. Rene Pinto next to hit for the Rays. Reached on an infield single his first time. Very high with that one. And it's one and oh. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He sends it out of here. Third home run of the season, and they add a run. It's six nothing. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. with this kind of velocity so critical that you move the ball around work quickly and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity he was all over that fastball Yandy Diaz now singled and scored back in the first he's one for two that one finds the zone strike one Fly ball down the line, and that is Springer. Makes the catch for the out. That's out number two. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Harold Ramirez, next to hit for the Rays. One for two. Just missed. Two down, base is empty, but one run across here in the last half of the third. That one the other way. Biggio. Over to first. That's the third out. Inning over. Solo homer extends the lead for Tampa Bay. It's now a 6-0 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Out of the fourth, now the number Toronto. two hitter, the Vladimir, Guerrero, Vladimir Jr. Guerrero Jr. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it's it down smaller, ball. pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. The 1-0. Oh. Out towards right center field. Siri sizing it up. One down. Now batting, shortstop. Bo and the batter will be the shortstop, Bo Bichette. 0 for 1 so far. That one hammered, but pulled foul. The Jays with a lot of ground to make up. Top half of inning number four. Check swing, no appeal. And 1 and 1. Out to short. Gathers and throws to first. They get him, but it was pretty close. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So now Turner in on that right side. Went down on strikes his first time through. That one catches the zone, and that is strike one. Turner, 39 years old. He joined the team as a free agent. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And it stays fair. The batter number eight. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. Grounded out his first time. 
Big for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. 1. And a nope, good eye there. One and one. Two outs. Hard hit right side. He Got takes it. it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. One left for Toronto. They still find themselves down. Six zip. Ready to go, bottom four. Now the left fielder, Randy or Rosarena. And the pitch. That's inside, and that's ball one. And the righty deals. Foul ball there. That one missed. Oh. Ripped on a line. Kiermaier hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. It was all oh, over that, that fastball ball. right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way bad. Isak Paredes next to hit for the Rays. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Got all of that one. It's his sixth home run of the season, and they boost their lead. It's 7-0. swing on that one and everything was on time took a direct path to the ball excellent extension and just drove it out of here nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that and stepping in is the speedy Ahmed Rosario and that's in for a strike And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Kirk pulls that one down, two down. The batter number seven, shortstop, Jose. Two outs, bases empty. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jose Caballero. He's 0 for 1. Ground ball, left side. And he can't hang on. No throw. And they come away without an out. Curtis Mead next to hit for the Rays. Run around the goal. Strike in there. Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, I'm sure that still will raise a couple of eyebrows because of this big lead, but I think it's more respect for their opponent, knowing that they've got to continue to add on if they're going to win this game. Don't take it as an offense. Take it as a sign of respect. The pitch. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. And it hits the fence. Runner from second crosses the play. It's 8-0, and that's a double. That ball was absolutely ripped, 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that too, Boog. And these are the moments we appreciate when we can look at StatCast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. 
So two down, and now Jose Siri. A little oh. bit high, and that is ball that one. one and oh. Man at second. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Benny really sells the changeup with that arm action. That one drilled left field, and it goes just foul. Man on second, two down. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. And they hold him at third. 90 feet away with two out. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. First and third, two away. Rene Pinto next to him for the Rays. He's already homered in this game. Chop to third. Connor Falefa. And that'll keep more runs from coming in. Inning over. They put two on the board on four hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. We played four. It's the Rays eight and the Jays nothing. We go to the top of the fifth, and now the catcher comes up to hit. Alejandro Kirk. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. On the ground, right side, into the outfield, base hit. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much. You know, he's really been on top of his game, commanding his pitches all night long. So, man aboard, Dalton Varsho, next up for the Blue Jays. Left field. Moving under it. Makes the grab one down. Now batting the third baseman, Isaiah Hunter Falefa. Man at first. Now the third baseman, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. That one finds the zone. Going one. Action in the pen down there. Garrett Clevenger, the young lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Kirk, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Right down the chute. Oh, a two down. The pitch. Not one close with that He's one. Right. One and two to Cal. Swing and a ball lifted left field. A Rosarena hauls it in, and there's two away. The batter, the center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Here's Kiermaier now. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Whoa. Missing yeah. inside. Ball one. Whoa. And another ball. Yeah. That one spoiled and... The count now two and one. Got the bat going too soon and strike two. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. Left hand hitter waits. We got a full count. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Foul off again, and it remains 3 and 2.
two outs. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Payoff pitch. Bounce to the right side. And that one handled. Wide throw no, pulls him off the bag, and the inning still alive. Well, fortunately, they've got a big lead on the scoreboard, so that error shouldn't hurt too much. But you have to be careful about losing concentration in a game like this. It can be an easy trap to fall into. And it'll be George Springer to step to the plate. Right through there for a strike. First and second, two down. And there's a foul ball. Two on, two outs. Off the mark there. And the count one and two. Ground ball right side. Ramirez. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. He continues to roll on the mound as five shutout innings are in the books. It's the Rays eight and the Jays nothing. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Nate Pearson. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. So the Rays batting order turns over. Yandy Diaz now at the plate, and here it comes. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Oh, the adrenaline's pumping right there. Pretty good fastball. Unfortunately, he got away from him. He's going to have to corral things a little bit. That one fouled off. This one in the air. Corrals it. And a quick out number one. The first baseman, Harold. And now the first baseman, Harold Ramirez. One for three. And it's fouled away. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. That gets down for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. I'll put you around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. Now up for Tampa Bay, Randy or Rosarena. In there for strike one. Movement in the Blue Jays' bullpen. Henesis Cabrera, the left-hander, is getting that big fastball of his ready to go.
kicks and fires. And that's oh, outside. That's and the count is one and two. Ground ball right oh, side ball. and foul ball. Right hander kicks deals to first might be two Guerrero over to second back to first for two and that'll do it one hit in the inning but no one left five innings complete it's the Rays eight and the Jays nothing. Here at Tropicana up, Field, up, top six. Here's Vladimir Jr. Guerrero Jr. Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That swing so reminiscent of his dad. Lots of pop. Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone. His fourth home run of the season. It's 8-1. First pitch hacking, and it paid off for him in a big way. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. And now Kevin Cash out of the dugout and ready to make a move to the bullpen. Zach Eflin is done, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Garrett Clevenger gets handed the rock out of the pen. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Here's the shortstop at the play. Bo Bichette. And that's outside. Okay. Part of the order coming through now and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The Rays up big in this one, and we're in the top half of the sixth. That one lifted to left. The Rosarena moving under it, and out number one on the grab. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Here's Justin Turner. Turner. And that's outside. Ball one. Tampa Bay's bullpen with some action. Tyler Alexander getting loose out there. The why to kick the pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Two and oh. And that's outside. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. In the air, out towards left center. Siri makes the catch. Out number two. The batter number eight. Second base. Kevin Biggio Kevin. next up for the Blue Biggio. Jays. Center field. Hauls it in to end the inning. Toronto picks up one on this homer. It's now 8-1. to one. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the six. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Isak Paredes. 
Pearson back to work. Fought off foul. Good eye nope. in that spot. Yeah, one oh. That's inside. That's inside. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Slides, but it gets by him. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. And stepping in for the Rays, Ahmed Rosario. Big stock center field. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. The batter number seven. Stop. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Next to hit, Jose Caballero. All ones the count. Next Aye. offering is in for a strike. No ball, two strikes. Three. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and now one away. Dominating strike out there on just three pitches, and that's what a now good power pitcher can do to you. If he's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone. Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Here's the second baseman, Curtis Mead. And that one hammered Varsho. Going back on this one. Banks off the wall. Paredes around third. One run scores. Here comes another. Not in time. He's safe. And they now lead by nine. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day. And a nice job of turning that one around. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jose Siri. Right through there for a strike. Around third. Here's the throw to the plate. Safe. That's back to back singles for him. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are. Penises Cabrera taking them out. The southpaw's been really good against left handed hitters. One down. And now here is Rene Pinto. That's hard hit on the line. Springer makes the play. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. So the lineup flips over, and now it's going to be Yandy Diaz. Snap throw to first. Siri back easily. Hey. 
And a swing to miss. Okay, swing oh, and now. One. He had his mind made up. As soon as that ball left the hand of the pitcher, he was going to swing at it. Swing and a ball lined out towards center. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And that is the third out of the inning. Three runs on four hits, no errors, and one left off. We're through six full. It's the Rays 11 and the Blue Jays 1. And we're back. Top of inning number seven. And a batter now, Alejandro Kirk. Clevenger, a 6-1 lefty, 29 years old, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Kansas. Yeah. Down the middle for a strike. It's 0-1. Looks like he's sacrificed to pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. Here's the 0-2. Up the middle, Caballero. To first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. And now it's Dalton Varsho. He swings and fouls one off. The Blue Jays with a lot of ground to make up here at the top half of inning number seven. Down the left field line, could be extra bases. And that rolls into the corner. Varsho into second, and he's got a double. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Man at second with one away. Here's the third baseman, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Varsho over at second, one down. This one smashed down the right field line. Dives, what a play! Tags up from second, and he'll head to third. That diving catch right there is the kind of play that just fires up the team, whether it's to make more great defensive plays or to get back in the dugout and swing the sticks. Kevin Kiermeyer next up for the Blue Jays. Pretty amazing going way back. Possibly the best center fielder I've ever seen. And that one is lifted in the air. A Rosarena makes the catch. And that'll do it. Blue Jays held in check. They trail by double digits. 11 to 1. Set for the last half of the seventh. Now up for Tampa Bay, Harold Ramirez. And a pitch. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Just off the inside edge. There's a strike. At the belt and fires. Slice to right, and that's just foul. And a pitch. And another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And now the lefty. He swings and hits a fly ball center field. Got it. Covered plenty of distance there. 
And there's one away. Now here is Randy or Rosarena. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. All one's the count. Swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Oh, and two. One down, base is empty. Pitch oh, misses. Now one and two. Pretty standard high 0-2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. Kicks and deals. Now fly ball to right center. Springer drifts towards it. He's got it, and there's two away. Now batting. The third baseman. Isak Paredes next to hit for the Rays. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch just misses. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Pitch That's misses bolted. there. Now 2 0. Oh. And he deals. High in the air, out to right. And that is Springer. Makes the catch inning over. Three up, three down that time. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Rays 11 and the Blue Jays 1. Back now in Tampa Bay, ready to begin the eighth. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, George Springer. Clevenger back to work. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. That one, one, one in the dirt, and it's one and one. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. This one in the air. Paredes settles under this one. Drops into the glove. One up, one down. Now batting the first baseman. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Next up for the Blue Jays. Picked up an RBI in his last at bat. Still their only run of the game so far. First nope. offering and it just misses. In there at the knees. The wind in the pitch. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a pitch. And that one is inside. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Siri calls it in, two away. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it, but sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those bloop hits to get a knock sometimes. Bo Bichette next up for the Blue Jays. That's in there, and that's strike one. Ball one there. 
Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. The shortstop takes the ball. Two balls, one strike. Here's a 2 1. And a foul ball. The pitch. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Rosario makes the catch, and that'll do it. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Ahmed Rosario. As the lefty gets to work. And that drops in for a strike. That's in there. And the count is 0-2. Quickly in an 0-2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. The pitch. And there's a base hit to left. And the leadoff man aboard. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, got out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And here is Jose Caballero. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Fouled off left side. The pitch. That's the third. And it gets by him. Now back. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Now at the plate, Curtis Meade. And a foul ball. First and second, no outs. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. And that's down and away. Two balls. In the dirt. Runners stay put, and the count moves to two and one. The count two and one. Wouldn't Rainbow. chase that One time. Three. When the skipper calls down to the bullpen, he's expecting the guy to come in and get outs. So far, not getting what he was hoping for. The pitch. Fouls one away, and now three and two. Rosario over at second. Caballero at first with no outs. And that's too high, ball four. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Siri up to bat next, lays off for ball. Here comes a pitch. That oh. one off the mark, and the count is 2-0. Oh. Really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at-bats, and the biggest one he's had so far, he doesn't look anxious at all. Hey. On the outside corner, now two balls and a strike. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Swings through that one for strike two. Down and in, moved his feet. 
Bases juiced, no outs. Got him looking. And that is a big first out. Didn't agree with the call at the plate right there. In a game like this, that's just too close to take. It's a blowout game. Guys have been out here for a while. Umpire saying, hey, let's go. Cut it loose. Swing the bat. Here's the catcher, Rene Pinto. That's a strike. 0-1. 0-1. One out, base is full. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. Ball one. This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Runners hold tight, it's a ball and two strikes. One, two now. Little dribbler up along third. Off balance feed, there's one. And that's two. This team is ready to make a play with the bases loaded. Excellent job of execution there. You turn the double play, and the inning is over. here at Tropicana Field. All set to start the ninth in this one. Turner climbs in on that right side as he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count and you can play around a little bit more as the at bat expands. And a base hit up the middle. All over that one right there. Yeah, Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, yeah, but if you can hit a ball that Biggio. hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. Kevin Biggio next up for the Blue Jays. And yeah. immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Foul ball there. Nobody out. Runner at first. One that ball. one not close. Right. And a count one and two. That smash towards center. Siri flashes the leather on the running catch. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. At the play, Alejandro Kirk. First pitch doesn't find the zone. The Jays with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the ninth. That's out to center field. Siri makes the grab, two down. The left fielder, number 25, Dalton Varsho. So they're down to their final out. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. And that's, that's off the inside edge. Ball and that's no ball play. one. Turner leads off first with two down to the inning. Line drive. 
And he'll make the catch. Ball game. And the Rays take this one in a blowout. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. An 11-1 final for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.